Hello students. Today I am with the new topic that is universal adult franchise. First of all, beta, I want to tell you these are common topics in 8th, 9th and 10th political science. Okay, so don't get confused uh, to which class or uh, which chapter this belongs. These are the common topics which is covered in all the classes 8th, 9th, 10th and forward also. Now, today's topic is universal adult franchise first of all we will know about the meaning what is universal adult franchise universal means universal belong to all all are equal universal adult means above the age of 18 and franchise means voting okay good so the citizens who are among the age of 18 who are above the age of 18 okay in india the citizen who are age of 18 and above the age of 18, jinki 18 age ho hai, or 18 se above age hai, they have the right to vote. Wo vote dalte hai. You know, we cast the vote for three times. That is for MC. When we vote for the MC, I will write here in the center MC, MLA, MP. Okay, three times we cast our vote. MC means district level go vote and MLA means state level voting and then MP means national parliament. Okay, member of parliament ke liye hum log vote karte hai. So these are the three times when common citizen who are above the age of this 18 cast the vote. Okay, the, all the citizens who are 18 or above the age of 18 cast their vote have the right to vote okay the, this is known as universal adult franchise now what are the advantages of five care benefits can what are the advantages of universal adult franchise first of all it gives us an opportunity to actively participate in the political process of the country ये हमें राइट देता है वो आर एज ऑफ 18 उनको राइट मिल जाता है कि वो पॉलिटिकल प्रोसेस में एक्टिवली पार्टिसिपेट करें पॉलिटिक्स में किस टाइप की चाहिए गवर्नमेंट कैसी चाहिए कैसा चेंजेस चाहिए उनको तो इसमें एक्टिवली हम लोग पार्टिसिपेट करते हैं हर पॉलिटिकल पार्टी का एजेंडा देखते हैं क्या वो काम करेगी इलेक्शन के बाद हम उसी पार्टी को उसी कैंडिडेट को वोट डालते हैं दैट इज एन आवर हैंड ओके the common people actively participate karte hain the second is this right also prove that real power is in the hands of the people government is not powerful by this right we get that we have the real power hum log kisi bhi candidate ko aaj mla mp bana sakte hain ya government banane ke kabil kisi ko bhi theek hai hara sakte hain that will be the common citizen of the Country, okay? the real power is in our hand. Hamare hatho mein power hai. This act prove that common people have the power. Okay, then move to the next. Power, uh, people express their trust in the democracy, democratic setup. Log vote dal. We, common people who are among the age, above the age of 18, they usually go to cast their vote. Why? Why they go? Kyun? क्यों वो जाते हैं वो इसलिए जाते हैं because they have trust उनको विश्वास है कि जो उनको पसंद है government वही बनेगी और उनके लिए काम करेगी ठीक है the government which they like that the people the leader the government which they like that will come in power and work for their welfare means we have the trust common people में trust है and above all सबसे बड़ी बात ये है कि गवर्नमेंट आल्सो वर्क विद रिस्पांसिबिलिटी जो भी गवर्नमेंट बनती है इफ यू डोंट वांट टू राइट गवर्नमेंट यू शुड राइट लीडर्स इन प्लेस ऑफ गवर्नमेंट यू कैन आल्सो राइट लीडर्स लीडर्स आल्सो वर्क विद ग्रेट रिस्पांसिबिलिटी क्योंकि उनको पता है अब हमने कॉमन पीपल की भलाई के लिए काम नहीं किया देन नेक्स्ट टाइम श्योरली डेफिनेटली वी विल लूज द इलेक्शन means we will not remain in power so by universal adult franchise means the real power is in the hands of the common people so we just take screenshot then we are moving towards our next topic
take the screenshot of this question. Okay, beta. Now we are discussing our next topic that is looks of a speaker. First of all, we will discuss how is the speaker of Lok Sabha elected and secondly, we will discuss powers and functions of Lok Sabha speaker. Okay, beta. First of all, keep in one thing in your mind that the party who get majority in election means that party has maximum members in Lok Sabha. So obviously, the Lok Sabha speaker will be from that party. So keep this thing in your mind. The speaker of Lok Sabha is elected from the majority party. The party who has maximum member in Lok Sabha, obviously they will elect their member as a Lok Sabha speaker. Okay. So the speaker of Lok Sabha is elected from the majority party and deputy speaker. This is the tradition also that the speaker will be from the majority party and deputy speaker will be from the opposition party. Okay. So now we are, uh, we have discussed how the speaker is elected. Now we are moving towards our next topic that is powers and functions of Lok Sabha speaker. Speaker ka pehla kaam kya hai? To preside over the meetings. Jitne bhi meeting hai Lok Sabha ki, unko preside karna hai. Dhyan se kaam chal rahe, ye dekhna hai. Speaker jo hai, when he or she is presiding the meeting, meeting ko preside kar rahe, so he is also responsible to maintain discipline in the house. House mein with the proper discipline kaam chale. Okay. There should be no noise, no disturbance. Each and every member should pay attention towards the work which is going on in Lok Sabha. So maintain discipline in Lok Sabha. Okay. Or in the house. Then the next one. All the petition and document addressed to the House are received by the speaker. Jitne bhi document hai. Jo bhi address karika speaker ko. Chahi prime minister betha Lok Sabha mein. Chahi high level ministers hai. They will address to the speaker. Kuch bhi wo bolenge vahan pe prime minister ko nahi address karke. They will address to the speaker. Madam, sir, jo bhi hai. Speaker, whosoever is speaker at that time. They will address um, speaker sir, speaker ma'am. I am going to this or that. Okay? They will address to the speaker. Okay? And he or she will receive all the documents. Sare documents usi ko receive. Wohi usi ko address karke bolna hai. Jo bhi bolna hai. Lok Sabha mein. And last but the, not the least. Lok Sabha speaker who preside over the joint meeting of the both the houses. We have discussed in our previous video, in last video also, when we discussed the legislative and financial power. When there is a difference or disagreement, there will be joint meeting. Whenever there is a joint meeting of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, dono houses ki joint meeting hogi. Or jabbi joint meeting hogi, when there is joint meeting of both the houses, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, and always this is tradition that Lok Sabha speaker will preside over those meetings, not the speaker of Rajya Sabha. Okay, always Lok Sabha speaker because majority of the member is in the Lok Sabha. So Lok Sabha speaker will preside over the joint meeting of both the houses. Jab bhi joint meeting hogi to. So beta take screenshot of this. Before I come to an end, I want to remind Remind you this thing that please subscribe the channel so that you should get the notification of next topic. Okay, so take screenshot now.